hello there my fellow developers and in this uh, from this video we are going to start a, a, a simple series so what I thought is I want to make a tutorial on building this to do app in react it's it's very easy so you just add it to do okay and then you hit add and then it gets added you can check it basically and then you can also delete it and uh, you have uh, an option to change the themes so you can do that okay and then this is just the link to my youtube channel nothing else so this is live on max to do's dot netlify dot app i'm going to leave this link down in the description below so that you can see and also it's uh, kind of responsive so if you take a look on mobile so let's uh, switch to for example galaxy 5s and you can change the theme basically and then you can add a to do um, there is one problem that it's uh, we need to make this card smaller nothing else okay so that's what we're going to do and this thing we are going to make in react okay so what you need to have so in order to make this kind of uh, to do app uh, the the resource that the resources that you need to have are basically um, if you want to test this in uh, developer kind of you want to get the code so I have this on github uh, all of the code so you can just uh, clone this and then uh, you can just uh, run npm install to install all of the dependencies that you need and then just run npm start to start the app okay so this link also i'm going to leave in the description and if we go this is the website for react where you have some documentation some tutorials uh, everything if you know how to use react okay if you have done something in react so we are going to build this to do app and uh, it's it's very easy we are going we're not going to use class components that's right here okay we'll use the functional components uh, with hooks and it's very easy so what you need okay basically you need node.js install so any version uh, the long-term support version or the current version you can install any one of these it's just next 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 and I hope you have done that and we are going to use material UI for our user interface so this is basically kind of a react framework you can say so it has components and also the components API so uh, and I did not find a lot from the, its documentation so I styled however I can I style whatever I can and yeah that's pretty much it okay uh, the things that I found uh, I styled it like that okay basically the buttons this uh, this form and that card also so for example play a game you can enter and then it just you know adding some buttons and then just checking it whatever and uh, in the future maybe I will add a backend to it so it will be fun okay now what you need inside of your web browser well you uh, if you are using chrome or brave or the the new edge that I'm using right now or any other chromium based web browser so you can uh, install this react developer tools extension that we are going to use uh, a lot not a lot but yeah we are going to use it so you can just install that to see uh, some uh, because these developer tools help a lot <clears throat> to understand what is going on with the state with the props okay so that's what you need and uh, if you're in firefox then you can install that the developer tools on the firefox add-ons so yeah that's it so that's what we need with the browser now what you need in visuals to your code well i have created a, a folder react to do app react hyphen to do hyphen app you have to create a folder without any spaces and then what extensions do you require for that basically you need um, the first extension that I'm going to use is ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippets. This is a pretty long name, but it, it provides snippets for React, Redux, GraphQL, and React Native. It's a pretty good extension, and it, it has a very uh, 
easy snippets so I like to use it okay um, uh, for functional components and every type of component that you want so you can also um, install it in Visual Studio Code and the second thing you will see import cost basically if you require or import anything uh, you get uh, kind of analytics here that how how large this file is okay so something like that yeah that's import cost and uh, yeah that's it that you need okay you can see all of my extensions well so that's it that you need for your react app and the theme I'm using currently is the Eva dark bold okay it doesn't show up this the shortcuts that every other theme shows up for example if I open up the devistry theme it shows this but the Eva dark theme does not okay but no problem it's a pretty good theme with a good kind of syntax highlighting so let's start let's do the setup okay so what you need to do is you need to open up the terminal new terminal so this is basically I'm running bash git bash inside of Visual Studio code this is just an integrated terminal so what you can do is you can inside of this folder that you have made okay just go inside of that folder and uh, if you have node.js installed then uh, what you can do is you can just say npx create hyphen react hyphen app and then you can put dot and dot means that it will be in this folder okay so the app will be created in this folder not any other folder so you just run this command and what it will do is it will create a new react app inside of this uh, react to do app folder so based on the based on your internet connection speed it will uh, install all of the dependencies that are needed and yeah so that's it and maybe i will add a backend to it so a user can sign up user can uh, uh, log in and then they have their own to do's but for now if you add a to do um, basically if you refresh the page it goes away okay it is not stored anywhere I'm working on a backend and if I can't then uh, there will be uh, there's my friend who will basically add uh, who will make videos on the backend uh, I'm working currently working on it and maybe we both will work on it uh, with uh, MongoDB and Express so basically the MERN stack okay Mongo Express React and Node.js so it will take uh, a bit of time and then let's uh, after it is solved we'll come back so once it's done it will tell you happy hacking at the end and then it will tell you that uh, you need to go inside of this folder cdd react to do app and then run npm start so this uh, we are currently inside of this folder so we don't need to cd into it again and uh, yeah it will create a bunch of files so it will install the node modules uh, it will initialize a git repository for you so if you want to use git okay then git ignore package.json so inside of this package.json if you see let's close this out uh, you will have the dependencies you will have the scripts so to start the app to build the app to test the app to eject the app okay now let's remove something that we don't need um, basically we are not going to touch the public folder a lot but let's uh, get something out of the um, source folder okay this is the main folder where i'll be coding so we have app.js okay so as you can see we are importing react from react and let's see this app how it looks like so i'm just going to open up the terminal again with the control t hotkey and then i'm going to say npm start so what this will do is it will start our app and uh, with it will open it up in our default web browser let's close other tabs so that it does not make a load on it so this is the ready product and this will be the uh, this is the starting so it will open up it will start up at localhost 3000 and as you can see this is your first react app edit source slash app.js to save and save and to uh, to reload okay so this is the react logo just moving around so what we don't need which files do we don't need okay let's first of all remove something 
so what I do basically is I remove everything from the header I mean from this div okay um, so let's do that and let's remove the class of uh, app so basically it says class name because it's a react app okay so class is a reserved keyword in JavaScript and let's do an let's do a h1 yeah emmet will not work in the .js file so we are going to use .jsx okay you can also change this from here JavaScript to uh, JavaScript react but we are going to use .js for app.js and then uh, JSX files for our react for our components other components so let's do um, app save this and let's take a look so we saved and now as you can see we get the text app let's remove the files uh, first of all this logo is not getting used so let's remove this and this import also we don't need it we don't need a CSS file so let's uh, delete this so let's delete uh, let's see what uh, we don't need the test we don't need um, logo we don't need the setup test and service worker so delete these and index.css is also not needed uh, now we remove the service worker so let's remove the import let's remove these things we don't need these and let's go to index.css and maybe we don't need this also so this is basically a simple uh, index file I we also don't need it so I'm gonna delete this one also oops delete and let's go index.js we are importing index.css here so let's remove that let's save this and let's save this and now if you take a look it's just app with the font change because we deleted all the CSS files and basically this is our HTML file where you can change something inside of the head tag so just change this uh, logo this logo this icon anything like that but I'm not going to touch this folder a lot so that's it so in the next video we will be start we will be getting the hands dirty on the keyboard and then we'll start coding our app so uh, in the next video basically we are going to create this form component uh, it will be pretty easy and we are going to put some state okay so that's it for this video guys hope you like it share it with others and finally thanks for watching